Hey, welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is Lars Sorensen with another episode of Simple Python. If you are looking for something complicated, you are in the wrong place because this is very, very simple. In our past videos, we took a look at the print function. We took a look at expressions. We're in the very beginnings right now. But today, we're going to look at a concept called variables. And for one last time, we are going to stay interactive with idle. In our next video, we are going to start writing programs. Uh, we'll do a hello world program and then we'll do something a little bit more complicated. But today we're going to stay with interactive because I want to show you variables. When you think about variables, think about a little storage space where you can keep values. Uh, it's like giving a name to a value. Uh, you can you can set the name to a value and then later on in the process you can then reset that name to another value um, let's do this you can see that's just a literal that's just a literal now if we want to give a variable a value we can say let's say x equals 5 so now if I say x as if it were a literal boom I get that 5 back. I can perform arithmetic operations like that. Then I can change the value of the variable and now when I perform those very same operations you can see we get a different value because it's now 7 and not 5. So you can see that's very simple right there. When you talk about variables, there's two things that we have to consider. The first is the name of the variable. There are rules in Python as to what you can name things. Later we'll have uh, functions and some other things that we give names to. Technically they're called identifiers. And in Python, if you want to have a variable, it has to start with either a letter, any old letter will do, or an underscore okay so we can have underscore x equals 4 and then if we ask Python for underscore x we see that if I ask so I can say D equals 3 and boom we're set with D now a few of the things we can't do is put spaces in something so if I wanted to call something my var and set it equal to 7 I will get a syntax error it says bad syntax you can't really have spaces in your variables uh, another no-no is to start with numbers that is another no-no we are not allowed to start a variable name or a function name with a number so those are some of the things you have to keep in mind when you're giving your variables names. Uh, I always tell people make your variable names as descriptive as you can so they are easy to figure out what they are. As you know by now I cannot spell and boom. So you can see you can use something as long as my variable or you can use something as simple as an X. Um, Python is case sensitive so, a lowercase x and an uppercase x are two completely different things. So remember that there's case sensitivity. Um, the last thing that we're going to say about naming variables is that there's a certain set of words called keywords that you are not allowed to use for variable names. So let's go take a quick look at them right now. All right, that was a quick look. You probably couldn't see them all, but that's okay because this is YouTube. You can go back and pause the thing and read to your heart's content. So now we're going to talk about the second thing we have to be concerned with, with variables, and that is the assignment statement. Uh, you assign variables basically like this. You have your variable, then an assignment. Now in arithmetic, you think that's an equal sign. In Python, that means assignment. That means you're giving a variable a value. Remember that. It's very important. 
because a lot of confusion comes up when people see an equal sign and think about it in the arithmetic sense. That is an assignment. And then you can have an expression. Now, as we, we talked about expressions in a previous video, that could be a literal. That could be a string. That could be a literal number. Or it could be a series of things put together with uh, arithmetic operations. Um, you're going to get an error when you see that. Let me show you some of that. If I wanted to say x equals 3 plus 4, boom, it evaluates the expression for me and puts the value 7 in the variable name like that. So I can also do this. Oop. Now, when you assign values to variables, you are always going to evaluate the statement from right to left. So the first thing that's going to happen here is x plus 1 is going to be evaluated by Python and giving you 8, and then 8 is going to be assigned to the x. So basically what I've done is I've increased the value of x by 1. And now x has had its value changed and reassigned. Because you do the evaluation from right to left, you've, you've added it to x and increased the value by 1. Uh, that happens quite a bit in computer science. Um, the, the best thing about variables is that you can completely change them when you need to change them. And then certain operations that did one thing one time will do something different because you've changed the value of your variable. All right, one last thing that we are going to take a look at is swapping variables because there's something neat and elegant about Python when it comes to that topic. Let's say we have an x equal to 3. And let's say we have a variable y equal to 8. Okay? So then we have our x and then we have our y. Now, let's say we wanted to swap those variables so that x equaled 8 and y equals 3. So you think to yourself, all right, well, I can make x equal to y, and then I can make y equal to x. Voila. So that should have fixed us up, right? Wrong. Because when you did x equals y, you changed the value of x, and in the next line, you had y equal to x, but x is now 8, so it's the same value. So you really couldn't swap your variables the way you thought you could. Uh, what do I want to do here? I want to reset the x. So I'm back to the original state. And now, classically, what you would do in computer science is you would set up a temporary value. And I would make the variable temp equal to x. Now I have x saved, so I can change it. Then I make x equal to y. And then I make y equal to the temporary value. And now, voila, I've made my change. So that's basically how we handle things when we want to swap variables in a lot of programming languages. But we don't have to do that in Python. You can see x is 8 and y is 3. Python lets us simultaneously assign variables so that if I wanted to, I'm going to grab two new numbers or two new variables. I can say a and c equal 5 and 6. Python accepts that and then I can see that a is the 5 and c is the 6. So in one line I've assigned two values to two different variables. Now we go back to our old x and y. What if I want to swap them and not use a temp variable? I can do it like this. Watch. I can say set x and y equal to y and x. And via a simultaneous assignment, I've swapped the values of the variables. So I've, that's a neat feature of Python. I thought I'd men make mention of it. Just to review what we've gone over. Variables are little storage spaces that allow you to give values to a name and then use that name throughout the program. There are different rules to the names you can use. You have to start with an underscore or a letter. 
and you can't have spaces in the middle of your variable name and you, you should watch out for case sensitivity because an uppercase X is quite different than a lowercase X and that's true for everything. Remember to avoid the keywords as well. This, I can't emphasize this enough. Remember, an equal sign is an assignment. It has nothing to do with equality when it comes to the Python programming language. That means you are assigning something to a variable. Okay? Um, expressions are evaluated from right to left. And swapping variables in Python is nifty and elegant because of simultaneous assignment. All right? All right. If you've been around for the first couple of videos, you know that we started looking at idle and interactive programming and then the print function. And then in the second video, we looked at expressions and learned about that. Now we have variables under the belt. So the very next video is going to have you do your first real program. Because we are all computer programmers, we are going to do a Hello World program. But very quickly after that, we're going to put together all of the topics, the print function, expressions, variables, and we're going to create our, our first real program, and you're going to get to see Python programming in action. So that's it for this video. Um, remember, stay tuned for the Hello World video, and promise me to be good, all right? I will talk to you later. Bye.